Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Tech Steps. In today's video, I'll guide you through how to fix the DNS probe finished NX domain error on Google Chrome using Windows 11. First, let's understand what this error means. When you try to access a website and see the DNS probe finished NX domain error, it means that your browser couldn't find the address of the website you entered. Think of accessing a website like sending a letter to an address. Your computer needs to know the website's actual IP address to connect, and the DNS, or domain name system, helps you look up this address. If the system can't find it, you'll get this error. The common reasons for this error include some your DNS system is malfunctioning or unstable. Two, you entered the wrong website address. Three, your computer has cached outdated or incorrect information. Four, there's an issue with your internet connection or other settings. Now, let's try some simple methods to fix this issue. Press Windows plus S, type Command Prompt, and choose Run as Administrator. In the command prompt window, type ipconfig slash flush DNS. Press enter to clear the DNS cache. Then, try accessing the website again. If clearing the cache doesn't work, you can change your DNS server to Google's or Cloudflare's. Follow these steps. Press Windows plus S, type control panel, and open it. Go to network and internet then select Network and Sharing Center. Click your active network, then choose Properties. Find Internet Protocol version 4 and click Properties. Select Use the following DNS server addresses and enter. Preferred DNS server 8.8.8.8 .8 Alternate DNS server 8.8.4.4 .8 .4. Click OK to save, then try again. Sometimes the issue isn't with your computer, but with your network. Turn off your router or modem for about one minute, then turn it back on. Check if the problem is resolved. If none of the above work, try resetting your network settings. Open Command Prompt as administrator. Type the following commands one by one. Restart your computer and check again. Finally, if none of these methods work, it's best to contact your internet service provider for further assistance. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Easy Tech Steps for more helpful guides. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.